Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, you know, whenever it resonates. I bet you guys thought I was never coming back, huh? I'm here. I'm here. What do we got? What do we got? I just have a lot going on right now in my life, and I needed time to uh, figure it out. So here we are. Here we are. I'm still alive. We're good. What do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Ooh, the King of Pentacles. Wow, the King of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it can represent any other sign. This is somebody that is very cunning and clever. This is somebody that is, well, in this case, it looks like he's holding on to something. Holding on to something really, really good. Pretty comfortable with whatever he's holding on to as well. Hmm. Interesting. For definitely holding on. Interesting. I saw this. This is really holding on. The Four of Pentacles. This is uh, somebody that is resisting change. This is somebody that is probably obsessed with holding on to something. We got somebody who is obsessed. It looks like it's a male, a masculine to me. It looks like it. Somebody is obsessed with holding on to something. Not wanting to give. This person could be selfish. Somebody's selfish? Not good. But we have the... Look at this. Is this all about... Uh, greed. This is about greed. But you can't fight gravity. You can't fight gravity. If it isn't meant to be, it's not meant to be. You can't fight gravity here. You cannot. So something may not be meant to be and somebody is really resisting letting go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Now, this could be giving up. Somebody may... Let's see what we got here. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is... Uh, really focused on some... Focused on a loss. Focused on some something that hurts. Focused on some pain. They have another opportunity right in their hands, but for some reason, they just can't take it. They can't stop focusing on what has happened. They can't let go. Somebody cannot let go. This person could be very selfish. Somebody is selfishly holding on to something when it's time to let it go. <laughs> Five of Cups, that is uh, painful, sorrow. Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is, well, in this deck, this person is unaware of something. Unaware. Huh. Ooh, the Empress reversed. Somebody may be in denial. They may not be seeing the truth about a situation. Somebody is holding on to somebody perhaps because they it could be the mother of their child. But this is not somebody who is not a good mother, the Empress in reverse. This is somebody who's not a good mother. Maybe they still want to have a relationship with this person. Oh God. Interesting. broken hearted. We have somebody here that is absolutely broken hearted. Very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. And their heart is broken and they're still grieving. They're still grieving over a loss. They may be in some sort of denial. Hanged man resisting change. We got somebody here that is really, really resisting 
trying to prove a point of some sort, holding on to something that they do need to let go of. They do need to let go of it. But this is resistance and this is resistance. It's because their heart is broken. Because their heart is so broken, they, you know, they're grieving. We have somebody here that is grieving the loss. Could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> but there is an opportunity for happiness here. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal. My ear is ringing. So the answer is yes. Somebody is grieving over a loss. But this is an opportunity for happiness. This is an opportunity for a rebirth. This is enlightenment, and this is seeing the light as well. Somebody may be seeing the light about a mother that is not really a mother. Because the, the Empress in reverse is somebody that is not a very good mother. Interesting. This is a loss. I knew it was. Ace of Pentacles, this is a loss. So somebody is feeling sad over a loss. Could be a loss of a, just, I mean, the Empress in Reverse, I'm not sure what this is, but it could be the loss of a, of a child, okay? I don't like to say that, but the Empress gives birth to a child and it's reversed. And the sun can symbol children. I don't know what this is, but this is a loss of some sort. And somebody is grieving the loss. But this is seeing the light after being in denial. And this is giving up. This is giving up, not putting in effort. Somebody didn't put in enough effort. They didn't work hard enough. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. It could be the loss of something else, too, because it could be, if this is finance-related or job-related, this could be the loss of a job. It's a loss of something, something that you could touch, something that you could hang on to, something that was, you know, at one time, you could have it. At one time, you could hold on to it, but you can't, obviously, you can't, you can't hold on to it anymore. You can't, it, it's, it's, it's slipping away. It is slipping away. But we have somebody here that is, is, has been sacrificing themselves needlessly. They've been wasting their time. They've been trying to prove a point. And they've been trying to prove this point because their heart is broken. We definitely have some heartache here. This person may even be having heartburn. They may be having heartburn. They may be having heart palpitations or heart issues because or panic attacks even it's almost like somebody here may be having some some issues because of you know their inability to uh, let go this is the hangman somebody really cannot let go of something that they have to let go of it's like it's not you can't fight it you can't fight what gravity you can't if you notice i mean there's no way that's going to stay on there there's no way. It's not going to, you can't, not even if you glued it, it wouldn't stay. You can't fight it. It's not meant to happen, okay? You can't fight gravity. So this, this is making a, a decision as well, the Two of Swords. So making a t decision based on the truth. So let's see what the heck that is. Ooh, Eight of Cups saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. That is what that is. So somebody is saying goodbye. They've been focused on this loss, and it's like, it, it's over now. It's too, it's over. It's over. This is saying goodbye. There's nothing left. This is emotionally disappointing. They focused on it for a really long time, and it's like, now, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. This person is, is definitely thinking, though. They're still thinking, uh, is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do? It's like there's their dreams have been dashed. There there's a lack of hope. But this is an opportunity. This could be a blessing in disguise. This is a blessing, and this is a blessing. Even though this is reversed, they may not see that this is a blessing in disguise. If you let this go, it's a blessing in disguise. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo. 
Taurus, Virgo, or Taurus, Leap, or yeah, Taurus or Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. Doesn't matter. Everybody is here, but this is a loss. This is a loss. Something didn't manifest. It didn't grow. It's because somebody didn't put in effort. They didn't work hard enough to make it happen. And now it's like all their dreams have been dashed. King of Cups. The King of Cups. This is somebody who is very feeling. This is somebody that... Um, there definitely could be some heart issues here. I just happened to notice. Somebody could have be feeling very emotional at this time. Their heart could be aching. There could be some heartache here. I just really feel that very heavily. Um, the King of Cups is somebody who <sighs> follows their heart. Very charming. He's looking for love. Somebody is looking for love. But it's very emotional. It is. This is somebody that is very emotional, looking for love. <laughs> oh my goodness, the Nine of Wands. There's, there's, we have this uh, barrier. We have this barrier that is up. We got somebody here that is in protective mode, trying to protect, trying to protect themselves. We have a warrior here. We do. We have a warrior here who, this fighter, this person is a fighter. Somebody is up against a fight, a fighter. This is a fighter. This is a warrior. They're up against a challenge. This person is a challenge. Looks like this person is, is... <laughs> ready to attack honestly I mean if you take a look at this but somebody it's like it's like somebody is ready to attack I mean isn't that what it looks like somebody is ready to attack that will focus <laughs> maybe I'll read the book like next year looks to me as though we have somebody here that is holding on to something. They're holding on and it's time to let it go. And they're holding on because their heart is broken and all they wanted was love, right? They wanted love. That's all they wanted. That's all they wanted was love. And they've been, they've been sacrificing themselves. They've been hanging on for dear life, right? They've been hanging on. Definitely holding on, hanging on. It's like, I will not let go. I will not let go. But the universe says, you must. You must let go. This isn't meant to be. You can't fight it anymore. And it's like, now, now, now you see the light. This is from darkness to light, the two of swords and the sun card. It's like, it's like you must, you must. I know that this hurts. I know that it's painful. But it's time to let this go. There's no fertility here. There's no growth here. This is a blessing in disguise. It's time to let this go. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. If you can stop the fight, if you can stop uh, trying to prove yourself, if you can uh, open your heart and uh, walk away from this emotionally disappointed situation, you know, don't let your previous wounds make you fight. Follow your heart. Do the do the right thing. Do the thing. Do do act out of love. Act act with your heart. It's all about love. It's all about love. That's what this is. It's all about love. It's not about proving yourself. It's about love. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is loathing. 
they're loathing and they're in fight mode. They are. We have somebody here that is in fight mode because it's like their dreams have been dashed. It's like they haven't been able to see that this is a blessing. There's an opportunity for a rebirth. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness. But in order to get this extreme happiness, you do have to release. You have to let go of something that is no longer solid. It's like, yeah, it hurts, it's painful, but you have another opportunity here for happiness. You just have to see it. You just have to take it. There's a reason why things happen. There's somebody that needs to look at things, This the hangman, from a new perspective. Look at it from the perspective of love. That's what it's about. It's about love. It's not about anything but love. It's not about the things. It's not about the money. It's not about society. It's not about... Uh, Proving a point to whoever. It's about love. So if, if you would just go where the love is at. You wouldn't be having this heartburn. You wouldn't be having this heartache. Anyhow. Um, whew. Nine of Cups. Somebody is really dissatisfied. It's like it's like their wish. It's like this is their wishes. <laughs> their dreams have been dashed. Right? They didn't get what they wanted, or or you know they didn't. Whatever they hoped would happen did not manifest, and it did not manifest because they didn't put in effort. They didn't do the work. And if you don't, and if you give up and you don't do the work, well, then it's not going to grow. So somebody didn't, it's like something didn't grow because somebody didn't put in the effort and now they're crying about it. Now they're moping over a loss. You know, it's their loss because they didn't put in the effort. It's like now, now there's no chance. Now, now there's no chance because it's, it's too late. And now they're hurting. And we have somebody here that has been very wounded and has a, their guard up because they were stuck in the middle of this mess. So anyway, I feel like today, what is, gonna, what is the message of today? It's a loss. It's accepting the loss as a blessing. It's accepting that letting this go, there's another opportunity. It's seeing the light. Realizing that letting this go will give you the opportunity for a new life. This is renewal. So this is acceptance. You see, on the Two of Swords, usually there's a blindfold. There's no blindfold here. On almost all of the other decks, and I have a hundred or more... The Two of Swords has a blindfold. There is no blindfold. I see the light. It's time to let this go. So this is a day where somebody sees the light. It's like they they realize, they see that there's an opportunity for happiness by letting go. They've been crying over this and moping over it and being very stubborn, 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 stubborn. Very stubborn. So I think today we have a day where somebody basically sees the light. And they release. It's like they get a go through. This is an awakening. This is an epiphany. It's like they get a new idea. They get a new thought. And they wake up. It's like they get some sort of awakening. They see the truth. This is the sword of truth. It's like they see the truth. They accept the truth. Or the truth is spoken. Or the truth comes out. This is a day of accepting the truth. Somebody may receive some sort of communication from somebody that, you know, is the truth. Somebody may communicate the truth. Somebody may speak the truth. Somebody may... Uh, it's like all of a sudden they just wake up and they and they see the light. It's like, you know what? I got I got to do what my heart says I got to do. 
about to fall on my heart. So today is a day of seeing something clearly. This is the sword of clarity. So somebody's going to see the truth. They're going to see something clearly. Something that they haven't been able to see because they've been so resistant. They've been so stubborn. It's like that. It's like the cl the cloud is replaced with sunlight, right? So one more card, please. Somebody's going to see something in a new light. That That is the message of the day. What do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, one card, please. All is well, because I just saw 444. All is well. Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. View from above. Getting the big picture. What did I tell you? Somebody is about to see something differently. They are. You are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. This is the sword of power. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Imagine that. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you've faced are making you stronger. We talked about the challenges a moment ago. <sighs> the no you no longer need to live your life for others. Yet if you choose... Your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If, you're, if you've lost or given away your authority to someone or someone else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them, but on your terms. You either let it go or you do it on your own terms. View from above. It's time to decide. View from above. Let's go to that one. Get the big picture. Don't get bogged down in details. Let go of petty concerns. Get the big picture. Imagine that you're seeing your life from above. Do that for a second. Imagine that you are seeing your life from above. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. Make major life decisions based on this strategy. What is the big picture? Where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you see, see yourself in five years? Will you have the same family dynamics? Is that what you picture? Consider that. It's easy to forget what the overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival and ups and downs of life on the road. It's only when the traveler takes time to look at the big picture that he realizes that most worries and anxieties are only temporary. Imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself of what if what you are doing right now will be important to your future self. Focusing on these concerns takes up, takes up valuable life force energy. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life. Let everything else drop away. Something needs to be let go of. And somebody's been resisting it. And they've been resisting it because of pride. 
because of what everybody else is going to say. Just remember, and you know I say this all the time, it's all about love. If it's not in the best interest of your heart and the other people's hearts involved, then you shouldn't be doing it. Let it go. Good luck.